hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're gonna see how to crochet this beautiful little hearts fingerless gloves for child size i have already posted a video for adult size it's available in the description if you want a free written pattern of this fingerless gloves it's available in my website the yarn bowl crochet.com link for that is available in the description meanwhile if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever where I post a new video. So this is the fingerless gloves that we are going to work today and uh, it fits for a child uh, from ages 4 to 8 and um, I have also added a tip in the written pattern which will be available in the description um, how to work the same glove for a bigger kids from 8 to 12 and this is the adult size uh, uh, pattern for the same uh, gloves um, and it's available in my channel and if you want the link for the adult size uh, glove I will give it in the description and um, we are working this in cluster stitch and the cluster stitch makes the glove look like little hearts and uh, the free written pattern of the child size is available in the um, description which will take you to my blog and uh, we're gonna work on the cuff first for our fingerless gloves and I'm gonna use 4.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project I have uh, posted in description all the colors of yarn that I'm gonna use for this project so for round uh, row 1 for the cuff I'm gonna go ahead work 10 chains with my 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and once I have worked 10 chains I'm going to work one single crochet on the second chain from the hook and then I'll go ahead work one single crochet on each chain till the end so that will be our row one and at the end of row one we are going to have nine stitches so i'm going to end my row one here and then i'll proceed with row two so now for row two i'm going to work a chain one and then turn my work and for each of these stitches you could see the front and back loop i'm going to only pick up the back loop of each stitch and then i'm going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch so working this way is going to give us a ribbing pattern for our cuff so you're going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch till the end so at the end of row two we should have nine stitches nine single crochet stitches worked in the back loop so once we are done with row 2, we are going to repeat this row 2 until we reach row number 20. I am going to work a chain 1, turn my work and then I am going to work one single crochet on back loop of each stitch till the end. So this is row 3. So 2 of these row is going to form a rib. So at the end of row 20, we should have 10 ribs for our cuff. So go ahead repeat row 2 until we reach row number 20. So at the end of row 20 we should have 10 ribs for our cuff. So here we are at the end of row number 20 we have 10 ribs and I'm gonna end this cuff. So we're gonna seam the cuff together so I'm gonna work a chain one combine the both the ends of our cuff together and then I'm gonna work one slip stitch on the back loop of my last row to the corresponding stitch of my first row. So I'm gonna work slip stitches across this way so we should have nine slip stitches on our seam 
so this is an osu uh, pattern so we are just gonna continuously work our glove so you need not worry about sewing it so just keep working slip stitches till the end and once you are done with the slip stitches we can proceed with the main part of our gloves so once you have worked your last slip stitch just pull up a loop and turn your work inside out so that the seam goes inside and then pull turn your work inside out now let's work on the main part of our mittens and uh, I'm going to proceed working with the same color yarn which is the gray mist for uh, my first two rounds so for my first round I'm going to work a chain one which does not count as a stitch and then I will be proceeding working 20 half double crochet stitches evenly spaced around the cuff so as I told you earlier we have uh, um, each rib of our cuff has two rows and um, for each row I'm gonna work one half double crochet stitch so I should have 20 half double crochet stitches around and once that is done I'm gonna work a slip stitch on top of my starting half double crochet stitch to close this round one so at the end of round one I should have uh, 20 half double crochet stitches Now let's proceed with round 2. We should start working our cluster stitches here which looks like little hearts. So we'll see how to work the cluster stitch. So I'm going to work my first cluster stitch. Cluster stitch is ideally double crochet 2 together, chain 1, double crochet 2 together. But since this is our first stitch, we will work a chain 2 double crochet together which is considered as our first double crochet 2 together then I will work a chain 1 and work double crochet 2 together on the same stitch so this is considered as our first cluster stitch so when I say cluster stitch I mean double crochet 2 together chain 1 double crochet 2 together then I am going to skip one stitch and work a cluster stitch on the next stitch that is double crochet 2 together chain 1 double crochet 2 together so I am going to address it at, as cluster stitch from now on and then I am going to skip one stitch and work a cluster stitch on the next stitch so I am going to work this way around which is I am going to work a cluster stitch skip one stitch and then work a cluster stitch on the next stitch around and once that is done I am going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 2 double crochet together to close this round 2 so at the end of round 2 we should have 10 cluster stitches So once round 2 is complete, I am going to change my yarn color to hot rose and uh, work a slip stitch on the next chain 1 space of the cluster stitch of previous round and then work a chain 2, double crochet 2 together, chain 1, double crochet 2 together on the chain 1 space of the cluster stitch of the previous round and then um, on the each chain one space of the cluster stitch of previous round I'm going to work one cluster stitch and I'm going to continue working like that around for round three so on each chain one space of the cluster stitches of the previous round I'm going to work a cluster stitch and uh, I'm going to continue working like that around and once that is done I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting 
chain 2 double crochet together to close this round 3 so at the end of round 3 again I'm gonna have 10 cluster stitches So for round 4, I'm just going to repeat round 3, working with the same color of yarn. Work a slip stitch on the chain 1 space and then proceed working cluster stitches on the chain 1 space of the cluster stitch of previous round. Continue working like that around and then work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 2 double crochet together to close the round 4. So once round 4 is complete, I'm going to change my yarn color to soft pink and I will continue working the cluster stitches but in this round we are going to create our thumb hole. We'll see how to do it. So work a slip stitch on the chain 1 space and work chain 2 double crochet together, chain 1 double crochet 2 together which is considered as our first cluster stitch and then for the thumb hole. We are going to skip skip two cluster stitches, skip next two cluster stitches and we will proceed working cluster stitch on the chain one space of the cluster stitch of the previous round after skipping two cluster stitches. So I am going to skip these two cluster stitches here and I will work a cluster stitch on the chain one space of the next cluster stitch of the previous round. So these two skipped cluster stitches are going to be our thumb hole. And go ahead work one cluster stitch on the chain one space of the cluster stitch of the previous round. Continue working like that around and then once that is done I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain two double crochet together to close the round five. So at the end of round five we should have eight cluster stitches. So for round 6 we are just gonna repeat working cluster stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous round. Go ahead work 1 cluster stitch on the chain 1 space of the previous round with the same color yarn. Continue working like that around and work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 2 double crochet together to close this round 6. So at the end of round 6 we will have 8 cluster stitches.
So now I'm going to change my yarn color to white to work my last round which will be my round 7. So I'm just going to repeat round 6 and proceed working one cluster stitch on the chain 1 space of the cluster stitches of the previous round. I'll continue working like that around and then work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 double crochet together to close this round 7. So I should have 8 cluster stitches again for my round 7. So once you are done with that you can fasten off and weave uh, the ends. So that's our last round for our fingerless gloves. So you can see a lot of odd ends inside your glove. Go ahead weave all the ends. So now all the ends are weaved. You need to work one more of the gloves with the same pattern. So this uh, fingerless gloves fits for childs from 4 to 8 years. And if you want uh, a little bit bigger uh, fingerless gloves, I have uh, given the size alterations in the written pattern on my blog. So the, that written pattern is available in the description. Um, it will take you to my blog where I have uh, the sizing instruction for bigger kids from age 9 to 12. So you can just refer that and work a bigger size fingerless gloves for uh, big kids. And if you want the adult size uh, pattern, the link for video and written pattern, I have mentioned in the description. And if you want a free written pattern of the child size glove, it's available in the description. You can check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.